I've been complaining about the quantum internet a few times because I think it's a useless waste of time. But would you know it, a group of physicists now says we can use it to test the intersection of gravity and quantum physics. And that could be very interesting. Maybe I'll have to stop complaining about it now. The quantum internet is the idea to distribute quantum information between different laboratories either through fiber optics or via satellite link. One day, so the idea, it could link quantum computers or keep information ultra secure. The reason I think it's an idiotic idea is that whatever you do, these quantum links will remain incredibly fragile and susceptible to noise. You so much look at them wrong and the entanglement collapses out of embarrassment. It's an expensive yet utterly useless idea unless you want to use it for research. So this is where the new idea comes in. The authors say that we can use the already existing links between laboratories to test some of the fundamental properties of quantum physics and gravity. This is interesting because physicists are struggling to combine these two theories. And one of the big hurdles on the way is that we know very little about how quantum physics and gravity work together. Indeed, we don't even know whether Einstein's famous equivalence principle that his theory is based on holds for quantum particles. Actually, physicists don't agree on what that would even mean. The reason that we know so little about this is that normally we either have experiments in which we can measure gravitational effects or we can measure quantum effects, but not both at the same time. There have been very few experiments in the overlap region so far. One thing that people have done, for example, is to drop Bose-Einstein condensate in vacuum towers to see if they fulfill Einstein's equivalence principle. It turns out that at least so far the answer is yes, but this is an extremely small probe falling a very short distance. It can't pick up on subtle effects. And if someone threatened to drop you down a vacuum tower, wouldn't you also agree that Einstein was right? Enter the quantum internet. The authors of the new paper want to test a well-known effect of gravity in the quantum range. That's the time dilation in a gravitational field. This means that time runs a little bit slower close to massive bodies like our planet. So strictly speaking, the passage of time depends on altitude. If you live near the sea, you age a tiny little bit slower than on top of a mountain. The authors of the new paper say the best way to measure this effect is to use three nodes of the quantum internet, each at different elevation and put very precise atomic clocks at each side. The ticks of these atomic clocks can be shared through the quantum internet and that way they can be entangled. This is what you need the quantum internet for to maintain the entanglement. The cool thing is now that the entanglement should gradually shift because it depends on the curvature of space-time. So you see, this is a direct connection between quantum entanglement and space-time curvature. And that isn't the only thing. They also find that if one measures the differences in the passage of time this way, it's much more sensitive than other methods. So basically, you get an ultra precise way to measure the gravitational field. Let me be clear though that this doesn't directly test quantum gravity because the gravitational field that one measures is that of Earth, which doesn't itself have quantum properties but it does test the interplay between gravity and quantum physics in a range that we haven't tested before. Actually, some physicists have proposed to test this with satellite missions where the entanglement would be created in space and be shared over even greater distances. But alas, it looks like instead we'll just get yet another bigger collider. This new proposal is a good way to see why I'm excited about new quantum technologies, even though I'm highly skeptical of their commercial value. It's because they're willingly or unwillingly probing entirely new physical phenomena, something that's become increasingly difficult. 
there's a real chance that one day one of those experiments will find something new and will kickstart progress in the foundations of physics. So yes, maybe the quantum internet is fragile, expensive and mostly useless, but so are most physicists. And look how far they've come. Do you know the joke about the two guys running from a bear? Do you really think we'll outrun the bear, says one of them? And the other one says, I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. That's how I think about internet safety. I don't have to outsmart hackers. I just have to be a little more difficult target than most of you. And that's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. And it also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It doesn't just protect your privacy, it also makes your life easier. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations. For example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years because they don't comply with European privacy regulations. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States problem solved. NordVPN is a straightforward app that does what it's supposed to. It keeps you safe online. I recommend you give it a try yourself. And if you do, make sure to use my link nordvpn.com slash Sabina or use the code Sabina to get a special offer. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.